Oh, my head. Where am I? Hello? <gasps> Pencil? Oh, my mother nature and father time. Pencil? Pencil? Wake up! <gasps> huh? Who, who are you? Huh? Ah! <gasps> What were you dreaming about last night? You screamed so loud, even I started panicking. I don't understand either. I saw you just laying down on the street, and then I noticed all your limbs are gone. Um, my limbs? Yeah, it's so crazy. Then I looked in front of me, and I saw this black creature just staring at me. I stayed put for a while, and then all of a sudden, this creature ran towards me. I tried running away, then my leg got caught and it dragged me away like I was drowning in quicksand. And that's when I woke up screaming like crazy. Huh, weird. Well, I'm not a dream expert, but I think you might be having a problem, buddy. A mental problem. Uh, what do you mean? Well, every time you talk about your dreams, it's always something happening to me. I get abducted by a UFO, a truck ran me over, my body got disintegrated. I think you have certain emotions towards me. What are you talking about, bro? Aha! It says here that such dreams indicate that the person might have attachment issues. <laughs> Who is dumb enough to believe those articles? You always hold me back whenever I'm about to go to work. What? That's ridiculous. I'm not that clingy. Please, don't leave me. Please stay here. I don't want to be alone. I'm so vulnerable by myself. Oh, brother. Well, today's my payday. I gotta go see Atlas. See ya. No, please. Don't leave me. I beg you. It's really sad to see our workers get severely injured. It just boggles my mind how that happened. Don't you think you could just check the surveillance footage? I don't think that's possible. The whole factory is under police investigation. Hello? Hey Atlas, sorry I couldn't make it to work. There's uh, something going on around the house. Oh, well, I actually have some unfortunate news. Huh? What is it? Wait, what? The factory shut down? But, but uh, what about my paycheck? Can we just transfer it? Oh, I am really sorry, Pencil, but we have a much bigger crisis at the moment. What's going on? I, I'm, I'm not getting my paycheck today. Atlas said the factory shut down because the other employees were victims of an attempted murder? Oh my, Mother Nature and Father Time, how lucky is that? Lucky? What do you mean lucky? How am I going to pay the bills? No worries, my bro. Everything will be just fine. What makes you feel so assured? It's my gut feeling. Uh-huh. Does your gut feeling have any idea how we're going to survive? Yep. In fact, my gut tells me a solution is about to come right towards us in about three, two, one. See? I told you. Ah. <sighs> Greetings, my fellow Luckinese friends! I'm Jelly, and I'm Jello! We were wondering if you two would like to participate in our latest scientific experiment! Uh... Please, officers, help me out! You can't make me wait for 24 hours! Sir, we are just following procedures. You may come back tomorrow. Uh, what am I gonna do? What if he's in trouble? <laughs>
Um, excuse me, is there something wrong? Please help me! My friend is missing. The police said I can't file a missing persons report for another 24 hours. Oh dear, when was the last time you saw your friend? Last night, we were about to buy some cookies and he suddenly disappeared. Oh, have you considered putting up missing posters? What does your friend look like? I want to, but I don't have enough money to print out for the whole town. Don't worry, we'll cover your expenses. Really? What? Atlas, can I talk to you for a sec? Atlas, what are you doing? The company shut down and you currently have no income. Are you seriously going to spend on some stranger? Plus, what am I going to eat for tonight? Stop with that attitude, Mouse. My teacher says life will always find a way to repay you, even in the toughest times. I don't want to be that guy, but I think you should get your money back. Didn't I save you five jars of cookies yesterday? You could just munch on those. I did! I had one for breakfast, one for brunch, one for lunch, one for dinner, and one for a midnight snack. I really should call Grassblock's friends to put you to work. Uh... Well, if you would like to decline, then we'd be happy to find another volunteer. Wait, what compensation would we get if we agree? We'll pay you 5 million rubies to be our test subjects. So, what do you think? Is this enough to replace that paycheck? Ah, <sighs> fine, let's do it. Wait, why are we here? Is this part of the test? What is this experiment about anyway? This experiment is about examining your visual memory. Um, I'm pretty sure that's impossible. There has been no evidence of visual memory. Well, you're about to find out. Why does my brother have to be halfway across Lucky Land? Hello, Pen? You there? Coffee? Yeah, I'm right here. Now, put this on your head. Now, try to concentrate and picture the image of your brother. The moment you thought of a clear image, this device will send a notification and give you a map to where the object is located on. Alrighty. Ah, there you go. Come on, walk forward and follow the steps. Uh, okay. Huh? Hmm. This just did. The beloved diary company in all of Lucky Land just shut down due to a mysterious circumstance that injured most of the workers. Wait, Atlas? So Mr. Atlas, what do you think that caused this incident, and what are your plans to bring the company up and running again? So far, we need to investigate this further. Most of our workers are still at the hospital, still getting treatment. Based on the police report, they found what seems to be traces of blood throughout the factory. Uh, Pencil? I don't really feel comfortable around here. Can we just cancel this? Uh, hello? Pencil? Coffee, you there? <sighs> Dang it, battery died. Aha! Looks like we've reached the target. Wait a minute. We did it? Pen, love to see you. Oh. Come on, let's try again. Go forward. <sighs> Yeah, I know. The sugar rush me and my buddies went through yesterday was not a good idea, but you gotta understand, sis. The feeling of having so much energy and just running around like crazy and then crashing up the words, it's a crazy experience. Excuse me, ladies. We were wondering, do you happen to see this little fella? Atlas, what are you doing here? We saw you on TV. Shouldn't you be taking care of your business? You'll never understand his priorities! Oh yeah? Must be some bad luck, bro. Oh, make sure to hit us when it's back running. Gotta taste those cookie doughs some more, you feel me? Yogurt, stop that! Oh, Yogurt, stop that! What's the matter, sis? Ain't nothing wrong with asking. Oh, we're just trying to help a good friend of ours. He's a stranger! Unfortunately, he is missing his companion. Any chance the two of you saw him? Wait, this little guy? You two are trying to look for this specific person? On the right-hand side of the picture? Why, yes. You know these people? Not personally, per se, more of a wacky legend that my two good friends Strawberry and Turnip told me. I mean, those two are obsessed with spreading wacky legends draw all of Lucky Land. <laughs> oh? What do you know about this little fella? Alright, buckle up, because this is going to be a long story. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. To make it short, he goes crazy every full moon, for what I've heard. Not that I mention a full moon, maybe this little fella, and hear me out, maybe this little fella could be a war object. 
an object that transforms into a rare beast every full moon to not only kill prey, but then feast on the remains. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. In all seriousness though, that's all the info I have from those two. I recommend being careful during the night if you actually are going to try to find this little guy. Oh, uh, alright. Thank you for the information. Oh, and when you come back alive, make sure you bring the dough with you! This is stupid! Why am I even involved in this? Just give me some money! I'm gonna go to the cupcake store! Jeez, Mouse, you could've asked politely. Oh, why are they taking so long? Why did we even agree to do this in the first place? I miss my brother so much. I feel so vulnerable around here. Oh, come on, brother. Where are you? <gasps> uh... ah! Oh, thank Mother Nature and Father Time. It's just you, Mouse. Hey, um, you were just with Atlas, right? Uh, could you tell me where he is right now? Get out of my way! I'm trying to go to the cupcake store! Right, before you do that, uh, can you just tell me- I said, get out of my way! Okay, okay! out of here <gasps> ah, please don't hurt me oh my mother nature and father time pen are you okay oh uh, uh sorry about that sushi i thought you were a monster what never mind sorry about that where are you going i'm going to nightlight's cupcake store you shouldn't go there. Better stay here. It's for your own safety. What? Why? What's going on? Trust me, I have a bad feeling about this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll have to wait 24 hours to get the police to investigate. Oh, good evening, Pen and Sushi. Atlas, I think I heard Mouse screamed. He might be in trouble. Oh dear, where did you hear him? Near the cupcake store, but I wouldn't recommend you- Wait, who is this guy? He's not a part of our alliance. Oh, this is Minsel. We're helping him find his missing friend. Are you trying to recruit new members to our alliance without my permission? No, Ben, we were just helping him to hang these posters around town. <gasps> it was you? You're friends with this little red freak? He he's not a freak! He's my best friend! Well, your friend has been murdering people all over town! <sighs> How dare you say that?! Guys, please stop fighting. This is not the way to solve the problem. Pen, what are you talking about? Hey, Atlas, this guy is most likely responsible for the shutting down of your company. His friend could be the one who got your employees hospitalized. If anything, you should call the police on this guy! Pen, please stop throwing such accusations. Your words are pretty heavy, you know. Atlas, I just heard Mouse screamed in terror. He probably just became the next victim. Pen, why are you going off so much against this guy? Do you two know each other? Trust me, Shushi. My guts are able to tell if something is going to happen. It's just my instincts. Atlas, if you aren't going to make that call, then so be it. But, but, Minsel, is this true? Yeah, is your friend really a monster? Sorry that I have to say that. Well, Bloodtrap does have strange conditions. I mean, most of the time he's harmless, but sometimes I would see certain changes to him. His eyes would turn yellow, and his hands and feet would grow claws. Though, this tends to only happen when there's a full moon. I just thought maybe that's his survival instincts. I never imagined that he would ever hurt people. Huh. 
That is exactly what Yogurt just said. Gosh, Vatrop's been my best friend for years, and I still haven't known him very well. Am I a bad friend? Aw, don't say that. Of course you're a good friend. There, I made the call myself. Pen? <gasps> Pencil! Oh, I'm so glad you finally came. I couldn't afford to be without you any longer. <laughs> I miss you too, bro. So, the experiment worked? Uh, not really. We came over here because I heard your voice. Oh, I see. So, you know the deal. Where's our money? Oh, well, the agreement states that you'd only receive the 5 million rubies if the experiment worked. What? So, so we, we did, did all of that for nothing? Hey, I'm not joking here, fella. Where's our money? Or I'm gonna call the police. Um, excuse me, Pencil. If I may know, what is going on here? These guys agreed to give us 5 million rubies and they broke their promise. Huh? Why do you need 5 million rubies? To make up for my salary, Atlas. You said I want to be getting my paycheck for a while, right? Oh, that. I am really sorry, Pencil. I feel like I wronged you so greatly. How about if I double your paycheck to make up for it? Take it, take it. Nah, it's okay, Atlas. I'll just take what I rightfully deserve. Oh no, it's him! Him who? The creature I was talking about in my dream! That's what he looks like? Blood drop! Thank goodness! There you are! I'm so happy you're back! Remember me? It's me, Minsel, your best friend! <gasps> Blood drop! Ugh, about time the police showed up. Poor Mouse. Sad to see all his limbs paralyzed. Yeah, I'd hate being bedridden for a long time. Agreed. Ooh, cookies! Uh, Pen, I'm pretty sure those are for Mouse. Huh? Uh, hey, Mouse, uh, want some cookies? <laughs> 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 <laughs>